Hello beautiful creatives. Welcome back to Beginner's Mind Art Mind. And today is Thursday afternoon. It is late Thursday afternoon and I was not going to do a video this week. It actually was going to be the first week that I haven't done a video. My husband and I had a very difficult week. We figured out that financially we haven't raised enough funds to build the tiny house to get us out of the uh, this house that has the mold in it and it was a devastating blow and then we got really sick we um it the covid was just blowing through our neighborhood uh like crazy some of the people at the post office had gotten it and then it seemed like all of our neighbors were getting it and don and i got really sick so we were thinking that maybe we had covid i actually took a test and it came back negative so i don't know if it was covid or what but we had a sick week a tired week and um feeling really stressed and downed about the cost of the tiny house not equaling the funds that we had raised on GoFundMe. And um, yeah, it was just super stressful because we've got to get out of this house. As you know, we also found um, the co-breeder that owns Posey with us found a home for her in Florida. So she is going to be leaving us at the end of the month. And um, so I wasn't gonna do a video. I was gonna give, I always talk to you guys about giving yourself a break and um, you know, trying to push through with creativity, but when you can't, I did remain creative. I, there were things that I did, but nothing that I would like show on um, Instagram or Facebook. I've been kind of silent on those. But then this morning I got an email from one of you and so you guys know already, if, if, you're, if you've watched my channel a lot, you know how easily I cry. I promise you I'm going to try not to cry. But Vanessa sent me a message. I mean, she, she made a comment on last week's YouTube video. And um, I'm going to read you what she wrote because what she wrote blessed me so much. Uh, I can't, there's no words for how much what she wrote blessed me. And it made me realize that because I couldn't do a live painting for you, or I didn't feel like I had anything brilliant to share, just sharing with you the fact that I had a really bad week. My husband and I had a really bad week and really tough things are going on in our life right now. But I did show up in the studio, not every day, but I did show up and I did do some things in the studio. And I thought, wow, you know, that really probably is pretty important to share. Because if I only share the weeks that I feel good, that life is going good and that I do pretty paintings, I'm kind of missing the point of the whole beginner's mind, art mind channel, which is for those of us that are struggling with health, grief, pain, uh, life challenges, whatever, are using creativity to get ourselves through those difficult times. So this is it. This is a difficult time. It was a difficult week and I did create and Vanessa is giving me the love and courage to try to very speedily get a video together and post it for you. So it may be a very short video, but um, this is what Vanessa said. Linda, I have to say my absolute favorite was the page with a silly character that said hi. I too suffer with chronic pain and fatigue. Hearing you say that it's okay to be exhausted and not really create much as long as you show up really encouraged me. Your YouTube channel is my absolute favorite. <laughs> That's going to make me cry. <sighs> I'm so happy I discovered it. I truly hope everything works out for you and your husband. Have a blessed pain-free day. Vanessa, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you win the prize of me getting a video out this week. It's all because of you. Oh my gosh, thank you. That comment came through this morning at a time when I really needed it. I felt kind of guilty about not getting a video out for you guys this week, and I knew you guys wouldn't care. I knew that you would support me 100% and that it was a rotten week, and I, I just didn't have the energy to get a video out. So there's no question there. I have the most supportive viewers on YouTube. Um, 
but I wanted to get it out for you because especially after Vanessa wrote that comment on last week's video, I just wanted to show you that even on weeks that maybe I don't show up in the future, I am still here creating. I am still working my way through this, all of what's going on with us um, with creativity, with my creative practice. And I don't think I would make it without it. I think it would be incredibly difficult without it. So now I sort of have my YouTube family that shows up for me and says, hey, you know, I love watching you create when I'm having a really difficult time. And then I'm like, wow, even though I think maybe all I have is a really crappy video of me having a crappy week, maybe that's what somebody needs to see. So here I am with I have no idea how this video is going to edit out, um, but it's me showing up. It's just me showing up, and I hope that it's helpful to you guys. I know that it may not be super entertaining, and you may not learn anything from it because I'm not giving you a demonstration, but here I am. This is it. This is what I have to offer, and I'm giving it with love this week. And I love that she mentioned the, um, what did she say? Uh I have to say my absolute favorite was the page with a silly character that said hi. And I remembered what exactly what uh, page she was talking about, although I didn't quite remember what um, journal it was in. And it was a process journal. My, it was a 2022, um, 2020 to 2022. And that is the drawing. And I think I remember when I did this flip through video saying that was all I had that day was this character showed up and said hi. And um, and that was enough for that day. And the fact that that blessed somebody, ah, such a blessing. You guys are such a blessing to me. So I'm sitting here and thanks to Vanessa, I showed up and I finished the last page of my magic journal, the last two page spread. And I'm going to flip the camera around and show that to you. And then I'll show you um, some of the pages that I did in my emotional journal, my um, intuitive, expressive, emotional journal. And um, there's nothing fancy. It just was just hitting it with, you know, showing up and, and putting something down on paper. But I'll show you what that looked like. And then there's a little clip that I started in the beginning of the week, just when we were starting not to feel good of us plein air painting. So of me plein air painting. I mean, Don was working and I did a painting of him and then I did a painting of the area. And I'll give you a little tour of the area down at the end of our property where we're building the tiny house that we're going to live in, at least for I don't know, now for a year or two, if we can get it built, say a prayer. We need to get it built. We need more funds to get it built. I will also put our GoFundMe link below um, the video if in case any of you would like to read the full story and would like to see the update videos. We have a really exciting update video that's going to go out this week because we have a bunch of family that is going to show up uh, late tomorrow. And they're going to camp out for Saturday and then they're going to leave Sunday and they're bringing a bunch of people with them. And we're going to have like barn raising fashion. They're going to finish off the deck of the uh, tiny house and raise the wall. I, they're going to frame the walls. And I really hope we get to the point where we raise the walls with all that help. So that's going to be a huge blessing. And we'll, we will be updating that. I'll be updating that on, I, um, I'm not sure when, but at some point I'll be doing an update on GoFundMe about that. So, and also if you would like to make a donation, the GoFundMe link will be there. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you a little bit of what I've been doing this week. And um, thank you so much, Vanessa, for giving me the strength to show up today and to practice what I preach so that I'm sharing with you um, and showing you what it's like for me during really hard times and how I stay creative. Okay, I just love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope there's something here that you find um, entertaining, encouraging, inspiring, what have you. So, okay, with lots of love, here's the video. So here's my messy desk. And this is the painting that I did after reading um, Vanessa's comment on last week's video. It's actually, it might still be a tad wet. 
But that is what I did today with my gouache. My gouache palette is really getting down and getting dirty. So I'm trying to look at that red. Oh, so dirty. But I'm trying to get it, get the colors used up. Um, so that was that was that that I did. And I love it. I really love how loose and quick it came together. And then, um, and so that's the last two page spread. There's one page left, which I'm going to do my gratitude list on for today. And then the magic journal, my art heels journal is done. It's even gotten hard to close. It's so big, but look at that. It is full. And there is a link on last week's video to where you can purchase this, um, an affiliate link. And also I will try to remember to put it into this week's video. I'm going to be kind of crunched with editing, so we'll see if I have time. But um, this, this journal was started. This was daily journal that I wrote in and... Um, painted in every day and I started on 7:30 July 30th and then it ended today which is oh I didn't date this yet today is September 15th so almost yeah the well the end of July and all of September oh, I mean August all of August and September so brain fog so this is this is the pages that I did this week just did some contour drawing that day. I remember I, I took a Neo Color 2 crayon, didn't even have the energy to get paints out. So I just did some really simple contour drawings. Uh, that was my writing. Some face contour drawings with a pen, of, like a felt tip pen. Again, that day I didn't have the energy to get any paint out. Same with this day. Was this the same day? I don't know. Uh, I bet I miss. I bet that was supposed to be the twelfth, and that was supposed to be the eleventh. But same thing. Oh, it was a different day because I know. I remember I was sitting in the living room when I drew this. I didn't even come up to my studio that day. I just grabbed, and this is supposed to be my dog laying on the floor. It's funny. So, and then the writing, the gratitude list. This I did in watercolor. She's kind of creepy. She's kind of creepy. Um, gratitude, thoughts. I did this one on... Mm, getting bad about dating them. Well, it must have been... What was the date here? It must have gone with that page on the 7th. So that was a gouache painting. Oh, and I remember when I po put it on social media, I post I titled it The Luxury of Boredom because Don and I were talking about how with all this stress for all these months with mold in the house and trying to get out and find a place to live, um, there's never any calm time. There's never any time to just be bored and just sit. So that's what this painting was kind of kind of based on. And then this was the one I did in the video last week. So that is the end of the magic journal, you guys. Started in July and finished towards the end of uh, September. Really, this journal really does mean a lot to me. So that's that that I did this week. And I'll take you over to the other table and show you some of the other things that I did this week. Okay, and then what I did was, that's the one that I showed you in last week's video. Then there was a couple of different days where I felt like I couldn't create and I literally did not want to come up in the studio, I had no desire to create at all. So I got out my Neo Col I forced myself to come up here. I got out my Neo Colors, my Stabilos, and I just, um, just played, just colored and played. And I know I've said this in videos before, but the coloring, there's something so childlike about the coloring that really, 
moves you through emotions in, in a way that I'm not sure any other medium does for me. This is, when I color, I'm really having a hard time. And and it's it it's just a really primitive childlike state that the coloring, this was sort of a Stabilo, as, as good of a self-portrait as you can get with Stabilo, but really quick sort of self-portrait and sort of uh, inspired by the Nell Blaine paintings that I've been doing. I believe I showed that one in last week's video and I still have her book open as inspiration over there. I just haven't gotten back to painting. So I did those two. And then this one I showed you in last week's video. And then this, this was my um, Liquitex markers, the big fat nibbed markers. I got them out and couldn't even couldn't even do any imagery on this day. It was so hard. And I had oppressive fatigue. I started out by saying oppressive fatigue. I actually did the, the lettering with one of these, if you watched that video where uh, De La Rowney sent me a set of their fluid marker paints. But um, yeah, so then I took my um, Liquitex markers in different colors and just put rest, self-care, self-love equals rest, connect to spirit, pray and meditate, be kind to yourself, don't push so hard. And that's all I got done that day creatively, but this meant a lot to me and it really helped. It really helped remind me that it's okay to rest and it's actually an act of self-love and it's incredibly important. It right, reminded me to connect to the spirit through prayer and meditation. Um, yeah, just to be kind, be kind to rest when you're sick or in pain or grieving or going through life difficult situations and we seem to be hitting them all lately um be kind to yourself you know if this is the only way you can show up this is big this is a big deal so that was it that was it see i told you i didn't have much to show you this week i, I fear it's going to be a very short video but that was it that was all i got done creatively this week so I will be, at some point, I promise, I'm going to get to re doing uh, re-flipping through all of these journals. Even though I have done flip-throughs of them before tacked on to other videos and with talking, like I've said in the last couple of videos, I want to flip through them with no other content in the video, just to music. And mostly it's so that I have it for myself when I have to pack them away when we leave this house. But that was it. Not much this week, you guys. Still in the, still in my studio. I have a lot of things to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I have all these paintings. that I actually should be putting in my Etsy shop, but I just don't have the energy to do it right now. These are a couple of plein air paintings I did either last winter or the winter before. A little Christmas mug. Yeah, a lot of different paintings. And then there's tons over there in boxes. You guys have followed along as I filled this journal up. I don't know if uh, it makes sense to do a little flip through on this. Maybe since I filled it, I'll set the camera up and do a little flip through on this one. Okay, so those of you that haven't watched my past videos over the last couple of months, I started this magic journal in July and it's all about the healing power of art. And what I did was the first two drawings were Neocolor crayons, just fooling around with Neocolor crayons and doing some expressive work. And then, um, then I decided to break open my watercolors and start journaling. So 
like this all evolved really quickly. Then the next day I decided that I would start a gratitude list and I would do a gratitude list every day. And then I started writing the gratitude list and a journaling page every day and watercoloring over it. And then I would do a painting. So that was my creative practice every day was doing the gratitude list, the journaling, and then a painting, a watercolor painting. And throughout the last couple of months, that's what I've done. I've stuck with the uh, daily practice and the gratitude journaling was tremendously helpful. This is when I was still living out in the tent. Um, it was really challenging and difficult for me. And I eventually did move back into the house, um, even though we're not supposed to be in the house because of the mold. So this pattern just repeated every day. Gratitude, a little bit of journaling, sometimes depending on whether I did a one-page painting or a two-page painting, it threw it off. So there was more uh, writing in a row. This was a day where I just, all I had to express was that I was so sad. I was just really sad at all the loss that we were going through. So like this is an example where this was painted on one day and this was painted on the next day. I survived. Oh, that heat wave. Oh, my gosh. I guess you guys in Europe had it. We had it in the States. It was brutal. And I we were still staying in the tent at that time. And it was awful. Simple landscape, watercolor. Some loose, loosey-goosey flowers. More loosey goosey flowers. These were fun to paint. Just really kind of messy, explorative woods painting, seeing how far I could push the granulating paints. Another messy woods. Sometimes these feel so good to do, these really messy paintings when you're struggling. I get a lot out of that kind of creativity when I'm struggling. I did this dove on one day and then this messy woods painting on another day. I suppose I should call them expressive. Oh, that's right. And then I remember I was so aggressive with this one when I did it, I ripped through the page. So then I took those, there was a video where I um, made decorative deli papers. I did all, mixed media on the deli papers and I actually show you that in another video. And so I tore those up and used those for collage to fix this page that I had torn. And I ended up loving the collage. So that was fun. That was on 819. Oh, yeah, I had a, bought myself a bouquet of flowers and painted them all that week until I knocked them over and spilled them all over the floor. That's so funny because this looks like the spilling of water all over the floor, but this was an abstract I did, which I really like. More flowers. So much fun to do loose flowers in watercolor. It really is. More abstract. This this one I actually did a painting over the writing, a woods painting. Another woods painting, and that was the video I showed you guys where the little fawn stopped by and visited us and hung out with us for a little while. Mm -hmm. flowers, hydrangeas. Another abstract. Oh yeah, I did I did talk about this in another video. This was layer upon layer upon layer of just trying to work through emotions. 
Really simple, simple watercolor. Another little landscape. Ha! Huh, an empty page. I wonder how that happened. It's, oh, I see. I dated it for this one, this girl that I did. Interesting. I got to put something on that, though. I don't want to have an empty page in here. Maybe I'll do an extra gratitude page there. This woods painting with shadows. I actually like the way this one came out using the granulating colors. This was the uh, Liquitex, the big fat Liquitex paint markers. It's so much fun to play with these. I did a video on those. This was the Liquitex. This was last week's video, I believe. Was it last week's or the week before? I think it was last week's video. That was so much fun to do. Loved that. And I was mixing the colors on the page. And then that one was gouache. Really enjoyed doing that. The luxury of boredom. And then the creepy girl. And then these you just saw. Contour drawings. And then this crazy little house, which I love. I love how crazy and wonky it is. And then I got to do my, after I finish filming, I have to do my gratitude page on this page. So I may do two gratitude pages there and there just to finish this book up 100%. I'm down at the site where we're building the tiny house. Yesterday I came down and painted my hubby. And he's a moving target, so it was challenging painting him. And today I'm trying to capture some of that goldenrod in the sun oh, out there. And just playing around with my gouache. I'm sitting in the shade, so this all looks kind of dark through the viewfinder. Sorry for the wobbly camera. But anyways, that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Got my a la prima Pashad box. And just kind of relaxing down here. Yesterday, Don really wasn't feeling good. And um, in the afternoon, he, he started feeling really, really bad. So um, I had to finish up the painting of him at home. And this morning I woke up and I was feeling really, really bad. And I wasn't sure if uh, quite a few neighbors have COVID. I wasn't sure if we somehow got exposed to COVID, but um, he seems to be feeling a little better today. So probably just caught a little bug. So I haven't finished this yet, but I'm not sure how much further I'm going to take it because I'm getting tired already. Just enjoying the outside and having some fun. Actually, while I'm down here, I can show you a little bit of the site for the tiny house. My little willow tree that we planted a couple of years ago. That's the whole house. It's the size of the studio I'm in now. It's got a little bay window or bow window. In the front. That's going to be nice. For doing artwork. That little corner over there is going to be my studio area. And then the kitchen back there. 
Uh, the bathroom and the bedroom. There's not really much of a living room, but the studio space was more important to me than a living room, so that is what it is. This is all the lumber. We milled all this lumber off our land a few years ago. So we're putting that to use. And then people donating to our GoFundMe site have helped us with the other supplies that we needed. We still have quite a ways to go, but we have some volunteers that are coming to help us. But that is going to be where we live until we can uh, raise enough money to get our house remediated. And then we're not sure what we're going to do from there. We may end up selling the house after it's remediated. I'm not sure. It's a pretty little spot, lots of deer down here. It's nice to be spending some time painting on the property. As a matter of fact, the last time the deer came through, um, she was eating my plants, my flowers in my garden over there. <laughs> my little painting spot in the shade. I usually like to stand when I paint, but my back's been bothering me a lot. So uh, I decided to, to sit today. This is in the deep shade, so I wonder if the camera's picking it up right. The afternoon light down here is really pretty. I love that willow tree. Pretty sunsets in this area. Love the ferns. It's gonna be a pretty, a pretty place for the tiny house. Okay, there it is. I hope I captured the light. Okay, lovelies, that's the video for this week. I'm hoping I have enough footage to patch through into some sort of cohesive video. You know, remember, just creating, the act of creating is super powerful. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It really doesn't matter at all what it looks like. So even when you really don't feel like it, if you just try to make some marks or do some collage, it doesn't have to be beautiful, or just write it out. Writing it out is so powerful. You know, self-love, get some rest. Rest is an act of self-love. Um, you know, connect to spirit, whatever that means to you. You know, pray, meditate, whatever works for you to give you that feeling of connection. Um, my therapist told me a couple of weeks ago to go out in the woods and hug a tree. You know, I'd been staying inside and, and under so much stress and down at the building site. And she was like, just go into the woods and hug a tree. So Don and I walked down to the pond and we hugged some trees and it was wonderful. It was just wonderful to take that break. Be kind to yourself, you know, be kind to yourself. There's plenty of people in the world to not be kind to us. We need to depend on ourselves for, to, for that kindness and holding yourself in a safe, sacred space so that you can get through the times that are difficult. And yeah, use your emotional journal, you know, use the journals that, um, that you don't have to show anybody, that you don't feel any pressure about. 
and um, do collage. Just do whatever. Just make marks. I kind of feel like I sound like a broken record because I've been saying this a lot lately, but it's what, I, what I'm going through right now. It's, uh, this was a mixture of collage and mixed media. Yeah. Just create, write, create, work your way through your difficult times with self-love, connecting to spirit, prayer, some form of meditation. And for me, the creation is my best meditation. I do do other types of meditation every morning when I make, wake up and at night when I go to bed. But um, the creative practice is what really does it for me as far as meditation and connection. So um, that's it for this week, I think. I hope it ends up being an interesting video. And um, I hope you have a really good week. And I hope that next week I have a really exciting video for you where I, I'm dying to do some more expressive painting, whether they're Nell Blaine um, Master Studies or just some nice, loose, fun, exciting paintings. Can't promise I'll get to it next week, but at some point I'll be back in full form, you guys, and I will do some fun paintings for you. So God bless you. Have a great week. And hopefully I will see you next week. I will keep showing up as long as I'm able. And on the weeks that I'm not able, it just means I'm taking some time out for rest and self-love and, um, you know, giving myself some time off. God bless. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video.